Okay, so, <clears throat> wow. Okay, so I am here at what is called the Mustang Library, one of the um, libraries in the, the local, what am I trying to say, library network. I've never been to any of the other libraries in this network, the local area, so I'm checking them out. And there's another lady, just ladies everywhere. So yeah, I have no idea. I think my local one is pretty awesome. Um, if you've seen that vlog, it's pretty jazzy. Uh, this one, no idea. It's probably going to be nice too, though. It looks different on the outside already from mine. Oh, there's people outside. I guess I won't record. Huh? Hello! So, wow, I look real cute. Um, yeah, I definitely like my local library a little bit better than that one. Although that one does have a much better selection for the bookstore. My library has a bookstore, of course, but it's, it's a lot smaller. I don't know why. They must just not get as many donated or something. I bought some books. I got three books for $6. So the first one I got is this one, Some Girls, My Life in a Harem. It was two bucks. It was in the like memoir biography section. Apparently this girl was like being a model and, or an actor. She wanted to be an actress. She was like out of work, whatever. And, um, a casting director told her about this job where basically they just want like hot young American girls to go stay with this, um, rich businessman, um, just for two weeks to basically like stay there and like be at his parties and like spice up his parties turns out she was i don't know how because i haven't read the book yet uh but she ends up in borneo and spends 18 months in the harem of prince jeffrey bolkai Bol bolkia youngest brother of the sultan of brunei uh so yeah i was like that's interesting i need to know how this happened and like don't do this people don't do this and then this one which is just super random also two dollars the water knife it's um some it's like a th mystery thriller um involving like corruption and it sounds like some politics uh regarding water it's in like a future a near future um where the southwest like is which is where i am it has arizona colorado and nevada and they are in this like mad dash to get all the water they can and there are people called water knives who go in and cut the water supply to divvy it to other places. These little old ladies are walking up on me right now. I was in line behind them getting the books. This is hilarious. Okay, whatever. They're in their cart now at least. People everywhere. Then there's somebody off to my right too. I'm like, get out of here. Anyways, the, oh, all of these say $2, but one of them was one. I don't know which one it was. One of them was on sale. But this one is just... Because it's one of my, like, I don't want don't to call it a guilty pleasure. But the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants books, I loved. And I had never heard of this. Sisterhood Everlasting. It's the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, like, girls. But ten years later. And I was like, frick yeah, sign me up. I think there might be one more, too. I don't know. I have four. And I don't have all of them in hardback. And they're not this big. Um, but... Yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm down for two bucks or one dollar, whichever it was. And then they had a couple copies of Gone Girl, which I think I have. Yeah, I have Gone Girl, but I have the mass market paperback. And then I have Dark Places, but like just the regular paperback. And I want the regular paperbacks of all of Gillian Flynn's novels because... I don't care what you say. I love them. Anyway, that is my trip to this little library here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will see you next time. Bye.
Oh, 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 oh,